What is up guys, it's Aprelia here and today we're going to be looking into another AI video generator. This one is called LTX Studio, which actually had a couple of updates just now. So back in May 5th, they released their new 13B model, which is very fast. It's open source and lastly, based on how fast it is, the quality is pretty good, I have to say. And yesterday they released a distilled model, which is basically can be run on your comfy UI. And, and it's also able to generate HD videos in 10 seconds. So that's basically how fast it is as of right now. And there's also some upscaling features obviously available on the web version. There's an image generator here available. Um, it may not be the best in my opinion. So here's a couple of images that I was able to prompt out. A lot of disfigurement on the arms and the faces. So I would rather just use Dreamina or something else we have covered recently to prompt out the images, which you're going to be using as references before you're going to be doing um, the actual videos. Now, when you want to actually generate videos, you go to motion generator. There's a storyboard feature, but we're not able to show it because I'm out of credits. Um, there's also VO2, which I still haven't, you know, really gotten to play around with maybe at some point. And on the motion generator here, you can basically, um, Get, get into access to things and then you choose LTXV and that's going to be your uh, frame of reference over here and let me actually show you some of the stuff that I was able to prompt out so I basically have this speech shot this also by the way has uh, audio on it but I decided to mute it because it doesn't fuck up with my uh, recording but these are pretty good quality so it's um and these are not the upscaled ones so you do have an ability to upscale the footage if you actually have the pro model which i will talk about the price in a second but these are pretty pretty good animation on existing good quality photos so i am liking the end results here um these are by the way from their own prompter so i did say that you know the it was not really good humans but i guess like in terms of other things, it's okay. Okay, this looks weird, unnatural. Um, this is not too bad either. But yeah, it can do images too, which are decent quality. Um, but here you can see the seashells, a lot of disfigurement here. Not not really good at that, a lot of artifacts there. And here are a couple of things that I, I prompted out the image of a you know, car. I wanted to go, and, and this it starts to go backwards, but I just like typed in like, hey, go forward. And these two other shots basically turned out to be, and as I said, like these is these are basically prompted out in less than a minute, so it gives you four prompts, and I think it's coming out in like 34 or 45 seconds. It's impressive, um, and obviously we have so many tools to basically make footage more HD these days. But there are some problems here. You can see like the people moving on the background. There may not be that much consistency here, like in terms of that that person. The end is like moving backwards. It's kind of weird. Um, then I had. Um, you know, the thumbnail from my last video where I talked about the Ninja Chat, definitely go check that out. A very good, very affordable tool. Um, but but I used a different dimension images image here and it just went all wonky over here. So it didn't really manage to do, okay, here is a bit better than the other ones, but it also like made out the nose out of the mask, which was weird. But I guess like when it comes to like the way that they're trained to do and interact with the human features, it doesn't really take into account that somebody might be wearing a mask. So um, these turned to be horrible because they were wrong dimension. But I mean, they were okay. They were not like really bad. I mean, granted, the source image was maybe not the best. And some in some cases, like, it looks pretty bad on... But in, look at the body. Look at the sexy body on the middle. Like, that, that part's... These are looking good, this area here. So um, that's for that. But uh, there is, like I said, an upscaling feature is available here. In terms of the upgrade, the cheapest plans start at $12. That is $15 a month if you want to do it. That gives you 8,640 computing seconds. That is 10 times than the free. So what you just saw was the whole catalog that I just did, which wasn't much. I think that was three videos. And I think I did two image prompts. So we're talking about like 20 images or something. And then there is um, personal use license, editing package. By the way, these didn't have any types of, um, um, any type of a like, um, it's missing the watermarks. So that was interesting that there's no watermarks included over here. 
Um, but yeah, like the, the package is not like super cheap, but then again, like a lot of the other video things, like they're not like allowing you to prompt hundred videos with 12 bucks a month. That's just not really what's going on with these models. Um, but then again, then we have the standard, which is only, it's, well, a bit more than twice the price and you're going to be getting almost three times the computing. So that starts to actually, you know, look into a bit more affordable package and you can have trained actors, character casting animations and some accelerated rendering, five color batters per project, pitch decks. But it's like this idea that, hey, it's doing these things faster. It doesn't really matter when you have limited amount of credits. That's me personally, like, okay, maybe you're doing it for a work or something. It matters more, but you would. And then we had the pro model, which is 90,000. And that's $100, which is almost five times, four times this. But that's not even like, this pro model doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like very good very good like uh, price wise so the pricing here is a bit off but as i said you can download this thing and here are some of the like actual results which we've actually should have looked in the beginning of this video these are pretty impressive i don't know if these are the upscaled ones over here but for example this one this looks good this looks okay on the background a lot of problems maybe but everything else like looks pretty good pretty good so ltx is definitely one of the better ones right now in terms of in my opinion top three top four in terms of video and it just really comes down to when it comes to this whole video prompting scene right now it will just go down to when eventually the code is so good that you're able to prompt out a lot of good stuff on a decent hardware at a good speed and it's just like really the cost right now, which is not matching to the quality and stuff like that. And, you know, when I look at like Suno and Mid Journey, I feel like there I get to experiment a lot more. And you have to get good at prompting, obviously. You have to attempt things to do it differently. And that requires money. And having 20 prompts per month, it's not enough to get good at it. So that's important in my opinion. But this is probably one of the most impressive uh, shots that I've seen made on this. But maybe maybe I need to run it locally and kind of try it out. And and obviously these models need to make money. They need to make money to justify the coding and stuff like that. But um, maybe maybe I need to run it locally and see what it can basically do. But thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. I've got a lot of well, I have AI things to cover because a lot of them are dropping out recently. So. It's been very active a couple of months in terms of like new AI software, especially coming from China. But thanks for watching. I will be seeing you in the next video when it will be dropping out. Cheers.